I don't know what you want to do, but I do know what I want to do. I don't want to do anything that doesn't represent the uh, reasonable unanimity of this country. We ought to have these things settled at the water's edge, and then when we go the other way, we ought to, we ought to be one nation united. And I'm willing to let you write the ticket if you write it. I thought you wrote it with the CETO Treaty. I thought you wrote it when you approved the policies done, the appropriations, the action. But if you've got another policy and you want a tuck tail run, I'll submit it to you. And then you can do it. Or if you prefer, you've got to, you can just pass a joint resolution. I don't even sign it, just send it down. That's what we provided for. So you could always have a power of expression. But until you conclude that, I would hope that you can go here. So that jarred him. And, but it hasn't jarred him enough on our side to keep him whining. He ran to Aiken first to have breakfast. And Aiken comes out and gets in the debate as soon as they open up and says that Johnson's going to put us on the spot and get his own, get off the hook himself. Did you read that? Yeah, I was sure he did. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, of course, I would like to do that, but I don't think I'm doing that in, uh, in, in uh, submitting it. I think I'm just getting, making more trouble for myself. But I don't want to, uh, I don't want to let them know it. And I, think that, do you notice how quick Russell got away yeah, from us? Yeah. And uh, so I think that's what we've got to do. And I think Taylor's got to say now uh, he has the power to do this and the to do that. And I see a lot of suggestions here. And here's the resolution. It says to deter the aggression. Now, if there's anyone that, that believe we ought to be doing it, in order to do that, I've got to have these men. Now, if there's anyone that thinks we ought to, he ought to introduce a resolution. Repeal it, and we don't. We can't. We won't have authority. I think it'd be disastrous to the country, and I'd object to it as a citizen. But the Congress is a policy-making branch of the government. And they got a right to pass on it. And if you want to, just get you into this resolution and pass it. You get a majority. But that's not what they want. Now, tell me in a brief summary before I take too much of your time. Uh, the the position. Uh, as nearly as you can with uh, uh, that our friend took on what happened to Paul's. Did we do it wrong and didn't do it the right day? And didn't no, that last no, uh, no, he didn't, uh, he didn't rake that over. Uh, that's did he show any, uh, did he show any, uh, uh, would you say, appreciation of the fact yeah. that we had heeded the suggestion yeah. and tried it? That's right. I think that he, he, he would say that was wise to have done. It didn't work, but it was wise to have done. Now the, the line is that we have to explain where we're going, but oh, we have an unlimited liability here that we're, we're accepting, uh, advancing toward world war. We haven't told the people why. They don't understand what we're doing. Nobody knows uh, what's going on. Light a hand constantly and so on. That's that line. So I said to him, well, do you think we ought to go to Congress with a resolution? You know, that lead to divisive debate? Yeah, I said, probably would. How far are we going to go? What's the I can't do that, can I? No, you, you can't. Do you know how far we're going to go? Or do no, the Joint no. Chiefs know? And do, what human being knows? I would imagine if they wiped out a thousand boys tomorrow, we might go a hell of a lot further than we do if they just uh, wiped out four. Sure. No, I, I agree. You can't. Uh, there's going to be uncertainty here. It is risky. That's the nature of the problem. I do think there can be more said about, about the have or how many we've decided to have and what their role will be. This, I think, could be explained, Mr. President, much the way you're talking about Max explaining tomorrow, that there's been this continued Vietcong build-up, uh, and uh, we have to respond to it. We're planning to do so. Well, I, I wouldn't say that we have to respond. I'd say there's been this constant build-up, and we must protect ourselves right. as best we can. And we think that this is this is essential protection. Now, this is not a warlord here. This is uh, this is uh, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Taylor and the ambassador people and uh, General Westmoreland, who has never who has been out there a good long time and hasn't uh, hasn't tried to invade the North. And uh, uh, they think that uh, in the light of the developments, this is essential to protect our people. We don't say that putting these people in is going to win, but we say if you don't put them in, 
you're going to lose substantially what you have. Yeah. Now, we don't want to promise you to, but this is more of a holding action in the hope that through the monsoon, they'll change their mind and time will play instead of being rash. We're trying to be prudent. Now, isn't that really what we're trying yeah. to do? Yeah. No, not a damn human thinks that 50,000 or 100,000 or 150,000 are going to end that war. And uh, we're not getting out, but we're trying to hold what we got. And we're doing a bad, well, we're doing, uh, we're, 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 we're losing at the rate we're going. And we're getting raised hell, but if he had a few facts on how much he's lost, it would be good. I think he could say now, we have tried to be as peaceful as we can, and we've had our bombings limited. And uh, we think they have done this, this amount of good and helped us with our government and our morale. But the cold, hard facts are that we do not have the pacification program and but uh, one of the 42 or whatever it is. And that, uh, it's uh, in danger all over the place. And we're not, you know, they, they're taking extra territory. And they killed uh, 600 last week compared to a normal 100 they killed. And now, if we can't endure that without help, and we want to come in there and do all, everything we can that the Vietnamese done so they'll have enough people to resist it. Well, they, when they can't resist it and they overrun, well, we've got to carry them in to help them. Well, I'll talk to Mike tonight about it. Okay, we'll see you in one minute.